Olá, bom dia. Bem-vindo do nosso canal uh, Quinta Ponta Pipa. Hoje uh, eu preciso limpar os terrenos aqui na Quinta. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Ponta Pipa. Today I've got to go and clean lands in the farm. Uh, as you can see, the grass is extremely uh, tall. This this weather's been absolutely crazy this year. So much rain and sun. It really has grown. I, I've cleaned the front of our house three times since. Uh, January and the grass has been growing back up to here really has been quite crazy so I'm going to clean the front garden here because I've got to clean all the land within 50 meters around the house and cut the grass which I've got to do by May the 15th so I've got about two weeks left well just under two weeks left actually about 10 days left uh, and I've got two fields down by the river which you're going to see me clean and prepare for sowing corn and wheat one last thing is I've got a, an old pigsty. We used to keep pigs down in one of the bottom fields. We don't have pigs anymore, um, but I've got an old pigsty that I built down there, temporary one out of pallets and plastic. I've got to take that apart, so later on I'm going to bring the truck down there. I was going to use my trailer, but I've got the cutter on the back, which means I've got to take the cutter off. I've got to put the tow hitch on before I can put the tractor trailer on, which is a 20 minute job and it's a real pain in the backside. <laughs> so we're going to use the truck and I'm going to lift everything up, bring it out of the field and dump it in the back of the truck. So uh, I've got quite a lot of work to get on with today I hope I can get quite a bit done. So follow me along. Right, well if you can see everything looks a bit overgrown. Um, you're probably not going to see it because I can barely see it. But there is the ramp, the entrance to the, to the field down here. And it's not much wider than my tractor and either side of it is a, is a water gully that runs along here and I've got to be really careful I, I go in the ramp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk it first because the last thing I want to do is, is roll my tractor. I think I've said it in one of my other videos actually. There's more people die every year in Portugal on tractors than they do in car accidents so that gives you some idea how, uh, how dangerous tractors can be. Uh, I've got a roll bar on the back of the tractor which is nearly all the time on, on our farm it, it's down because of the olive trees so I've, I've cracked several branches on them when I go by because it's so big being behind my head I often forget that it's up so a lot of time on our farm it's down because the farm's flat and I haven't got a lot of chance of rolling it but if I clean land for other people or I go in and clean a forest or something with the machine I've got on the back, the cutter uh, I have the roll bar up for necessity and for safety I'm just going to walk down here and give it a check and see roughly where it is. You see me disappear, I found the gully. Good enough. Well, obviously I'm in, uh, I'm in low gear. than it looks, huh? Right, well I'll take you down. And that's the uh, the old pig sty that I had. We had all this field here. Just for the pigs. And they stayed in there for over a year and we only threw them a bit of corn occasionally. They, they did a wonderful job of cleaning it. Well, I think I'm going to put you on a bit of a time lapse so you can see me cleaning some of the field.
to the field, well that's the field cut, I haven't done the edges because we don't sow the edges with um, wheat or, or corn or anything like that. In fact the field, well you can see it, what I've just done. I don't know if you'll be, you actually sort of notice it in the time lapse or I'm going to put all of the time lapse in there depending how long it is, I don't want to make it boring. But I cut the first time to about this deep and it lays the last bit over rather than cutting it and then when I come in with my uh, my plough it just well it does exactly that it, it bungs up the plough and you end up with just big piles of, of grass and it you don't get the field level so by going around on the second pass you can see that it takes it down to the dirt and as you can see it's extremely good dirt here and this field over here where the tractor is parked you can we've got a, an ascent and there's another one over there and in a sense is uh, water that naturally comes out of the ground and it comes out of the ground all year round and here's a bit you can see I've only got the tractor stuck um, and last year or two years ago actually I've run a channel from about here over to in front of the tractor and then there's a wall and that runs all the way along the edge of where I've cut and then it dumps into the river uh, and I'm going to take you over to the river actually because it's beautiful and you see the waterfall I don't know if you can hear it. And we've got lots of figs this year. And here's one of the many waterfalls we got on the farm. And you can see the, what I've cleaned. That's our land over there. I don't know if you can see an orange dot. That's my trailer over there. Uh, trying to pick up the pine, uh, pine trees that we cut down after the fire, which have been sat there probably slowly being eaten by bugs so I just haven't had the time I want to take those on my trailer and hopefully if the guy says he'll do it we'll make that into another video there's a carpenter in the village with a giant old um, sawmill a very big one on a small mini railway track so you can chop those up for me and then I've got a lot of planking I can make uh, more benches like we I made for the fair and other things like that so I've not quite decided what I'm gonna sow this field with yet uh, probably corn this time of the year because wheat's normally a little bit later but we'll see what we can do for the, for the goats. I did plant potatoes in here and I don't know, you probably wouldn't have seen it in the, in the time lapse but the tractor's bouncing up and down because I, I put rows this way before with my, uh, my tool that you saw in one of my other videos that I made for hilling up the potatoes uh, and we filled this. We planted just over half of this field by hand uh, with my tool uh, and putting the potatoes in by hand rather in the lines and we did the whole lot in about about 35 minutes so it, it saves a lot of time so there's the pigsty over here and I'm just about to start pulling that to bits probably going to be a bit of a bumpy ride Well, it's actually not that bad really is it? it's not that rotten well look you can see how much water there is on the field here it's very good there's water there so I'm gonna go back up to the house get myself some breakfast because it's about 11 o'clock and that's about the time I get my breakfast because the girls have done the uh, the goats by now hopefully right well I'm down by the pump house and as you can see the grass has grown there's all the equipment we had outside so I've got to come and pick that up later on today or tomorrow maybe the land starts over there, the river is inside the tree line, there's a waterfall, another one that we've got, and the land disappears all the way off up up there. Um, there's a big pile of dirt which you can't quite see in, in the height of the grass, that's where I clean lots of rocks and branches away the other year, a few years back, um, and I'm hoping most of that's now rotten down and I'm going to break that apart after I've cut the grass. I was going to put you on another time lapse but I think I'm going to... Um, Sorry, I think I'm going to stick you on the back of the tractor 
I've had my breakfast and uh, the girls have actually been driving around most of the morning when I was cutting the other field and there's no sign of our boys. Trouble is here, there's lots of holes and wells and things like that that dogs can fall into but for both of them. So I'm hoping as both of them are complete that they're off trying to find some ladies and that they're going to come back. But like I said, the girls have tried looking and can't find them and I, I, I've really got to carry on. One, I need to clean this as a fire break because if uh, we have another fire, it's going to come from that direction because it's about the last part of this area that didn't burn before and the way that the fires work out here if we're going to get another one it's going to come from that direction so the reason for getting the pump fitted uh, and fixed last time is that we're going to have a hose that we can connect to that which has got a, a lot of pressure behind it we can defend this area and put out hopefully any flames that, that might come this way hopefully there won't be a fire this year but the trouble with living in Portugal you don't know and if you take your chance once the flames are coming it's, it's too late so a lot of these people that buy land and don't clear it and think that it looks lovely looking because it does I mean look at the plants it's beautiful you know nobody wants to unnecessarily cut this and I, I and I don't in a lot of my farm because we don't have to clean it we only have to clean 50 meters around our home um, we're a farm this is feed for our animals you know we don't by law have to clean this but is sensibility do you clean it or do you risk the chance of the fire sweeping through here and, and taking the farm out so this is what I'm doing well I'm not do I'm doing it for fire but I'm also preparing the land for sowing future seeding um, I'm gonna get on with it I'm gonna stick it on the back of the tractor and see how we get on Well, I can't believe how much the sides here have grown up with brambles. That's just incredible. And these rocks that you're going to see that are coming out of shot now, they've fallen off of the, the rock face there. Like there's pine trees falling over and probably broken, so broken the rocks apart, so they've fallen down in here. I've got a lot more work to do down here than I thought I did. We didn't look like this two and a half years ago. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen in a minute where I cleaned from here all the way down to the pump house with the, with the water channel just in front of my tractor there which is why I've stopped there's a tunnel and another waterfall you can probably hear there's a tunnel in the side of the wall here in the river and the water comes under this ground that we're driving on in a beautiful square tunnel and it comes out here and then it goes into uh, a channel which used to feed the, um, the water pump in old times but the way the water levels have changed and everything else it doesn't carry enough water there so we don't use it so much but um, I can't remember why I did it now but I, I lifted the top of the tunnel off here I think there was a broken stone so I've opened it and I've yet to find another big rock which I'm going to put over the top and then put the dirt back over but I'm just uh, I'm just amazed I've just done this path here and the tractors like this over all the big rocks so and I, I don't like hitting the chain on it because it, it, it's not good for the machine to hit bloody great rocks like this. So.
pounds of it, there's all these rocks. This is all uh, bedrock. And over the years, bits of them fall down. Trees grow in there, the roots swell up, they crack the rocks and then the rocks fall down. And some of them, have you seen, are actually quite a big size. Um, for me to get in there and clean this, this side's fine against the, the wall of the river, except that's all right, apart from the overhanging branches and the brambles that have grown up. <coughs> I'm not going to worry about getting rid of too many of them, because obviously the goats are going to come in here and goats like brambles, so hopefully they're going to make an effort to eat the brambles. Because everything I plant for them, they, they seem more interested in all the, well, this stuff, the roughage, which is what goat looks like, which is why we're thinking of getting four or six goat, uh, sheep to go with the goats. So the sheep will graze a lot more on, on what we're planting for them and hopefully encourage the goats to do it with them. Well, from here on down, there's a lovely water channel that you, I think I've already I've been able to put the pictures in the video already, but I'm not quite sure. I lined it all beautifully with all these rocks that fell down, so the edge was all capped in, a, in, in an attempt to slow down the um, the, uh, the weeds growing and everything else like that. So, Right, well I think that's about enough for you seeing me do this. If, if I've cleaned it up a little bit more, I'll, I'll just show you the end result. So, and I think it's about time for some lunch. Right, prime example of why, I think I explained it earlier in the video, why I very rarely drive around with that roll bar up. I've just ripped a dirty great branch off an olive tree. Yeah. Well, it was actually a pain in the in the backside having it here because where I drive through if I've got things in a trailer it's always catching it and I have to be very careful but I'd rather not have ripped it off but the tree is slightly overgrown and they don't do they never did very well in here because this field was always wet again there's an ascent over here there's our water tank up there now what I've done I don't know if you can see in the camera I've put where that black tube is on the end of the tank there's a metal T piece that comes out of that, which normally flows down. In fact, you've, you've seen it in another video. It flows down into a grill in the ground and we don't actually know where that water ends up. Um, there's a water channel down the side of this field here, which then goes into the, the channel I've just told you about, which goes into the pump house. But I've connected that there and it's coming out of this tube right where the nascent is. And I've tried to dig a pond here Big, oh, good, and it's got frogs in it now, brilliant. So it's filling up with wildlife. Um, there's a bit of a bank here. I've got a pile of dirt there, which I dug out from it. I can't go down any deeper because it's, um, it's bedrock. So I can't physically dig any further down. The nascent, funnily enough, is, is right where you can just see the stones where the water's cascading down. And I've just put the overflow, which we're gonna do. We're gonna bury it with it coming out. Oh, there's quite a couple of big frogs in there actually, so if there's frogs in there, there's wildlife. And now I, I did this about six months ago, so it's got a good silt in the bottom, so it should hold the water. I'm going to, at the end there, bury a pipe to go along and pour down into that water channel I've just told you about, because these olive trees are looking sick like this, because they were always sitting in water, and olive trees, a Portuguese sort of a Mediterranean tree, they don't like sitting in water. So my idea was to trap it here and then funnel it out. So, uh, but I'm really happy that I've seen that. There's, I can see water boatmen and, and other things in there. Obviously the goats can come and feed from, uh, drink from this. Butterflies, dragonflies and all the rest of it. Because later on in the, in the summer, oh, the dragonflies are, are absolutely stunning. Right. Well, I'm down at another piece of uh, land you, you guys haven't seen before. You can hear that in the background. That's water leaving the wall of the barrage because our land goes right up to the, the big lake there. Uh, and we've got about 14 chestnut trees here. And I'm going to take some of the lower limbs off of those. And then I've got other cork trees growing, oak trees. And I'm going to trim all the lower branches off. Um, you, you might not believe it, but I've just cleaned in here with the, the, uh, the chain on the back of my, uh, my tractor, which has got chains with links on it like that. I mean, if it clips your toe, it would take you take the bottom of your leg off. It's, it's a mean machine. It'll chop, it'll chop pine trees down like that and just smash them up to nothing. Um, earlier, this was brambles up to well, as tall as me. So I just wanted to sort of say, because I've seen a few other channels that've got small tractors and things like that, uh, but I've noticed they haven't got fire extinguishers. You get caught without uh, 
that bolted to your tractor you're going to get a fine by law you must carry these at all time of the year bolted to the side of your tractor so that's a uh, they want a lot of money about 30 25 euros but you need one of these um, a proper fire extinguisher <coughs> and actually now I'm just about to go and uh, to enrol for it you need to take a license as well if you own a tractor you can't just buy a tractor and drive it you need to go and take a safety test uh, to me it's a little bit of a health and safety BS but uh, if you've done it you've done it you get caught driving on the road and you haven't had to test then you're also you're going to get nicked <laughs> so uh, it's just it's just not worth it and where I work for other people in other areas around here I clean the land and stuff for them although I might not be able to do it anymore we're so busy with the farm I might have to knock that on the head it's just not worth I mean I earn quite good money doing it but it's uh, you earn the money but the speed everything grows out I get so far behind with the farm it's just it's just not worth sort of my time doing it in, in, in that regard um, it's a shame because I sort of enjoy doing it actually going out and, and all the rest of it but Anyway, I'll leave the camera running. I might even try and put it somewhere else and uh, see me trimming off some of these lower branches because I'm only, I'm only going to hit them with the tractor and when I drive past, they're right below my head. And it's very strange. These two chestnut trees, you can see they look quite thin with leaves and, and they are. It looks like these have only just started flowering. Uh, and I've got other ones down there that are completely full in, in leaf and the leaves are much bigger. They're fully grown, fully formed. But these ones are a bit... This weather this year has been very, very, very strange. So anyway, I'm going to get on with my chainsaw and go and chop some bits down. In fact, the girls are just going out now to go and get me some more fuel and to, to go and look for the dogs because uh, we haven't found them yet. So and you're going to see them drive along the, the damn wall. That over there is the, in fact, look, that's the height of the brambles this morning. You see where I've cleaned them. That's where the water leaves the barrage over there with a small bridge across it there they go <laughs> toot toot bless molly huh. there they go
Concrete, but this one's not, this one's granite, so I'm keeping this one. Like work of that, well, with cork trees you need permission to cut them down but you don't need permission to clean them like this one from about there downwards all that should come off so they look a bit like this even those are a bit dirty where you've got the crotch in the tree you'd clean everything up to the crotch and then when they get a bit older you'd go slightly up again uh, one it's good for the tree good tree management but also if there's a fire the flames don't catch into the lower canopy and then and then set the rest alight so I was just making a little start on this one and I, I looked but I couldn't see anything. As soon as I cut the first branch I could see something. Now I think Bob Marley would be well chuffed with this for three little birdies. Have a look at these beauties. But you've got to see this, this is absolutely lovely. I'm struggling to see if you, on the camera if you can actually see because the sun's so bright. Three little birdies. Yeah, 
they're breathing away very happily. Bless their little heart. Aren't they lovely? I'll get the camera. Oh, look, look, he's expecting mum coming home. He thought the noise was mum. He opened his mouth. Right, well, in case mum's coming, I'm going to leave them well alone. So I'm going to disappear from this area now. So mum doesn't feel threatened and doesn't want to abandon the nest or anything, which I don't think will happen.